Okay, I have my helper here to help us factor binomials. Okay, factoring binomials. There's really only one kind of binomial that we're going to have to factor here for this class, and it is the difference of two squares. Okay, and let me explain what that means. If you look at x squared, well, that's obviously a square because of the 2, but this is x times x. Okay, so that's x squared. What times what gives you 9? What do you think, buddy? X. Mm. What times what gives you 9? 3 times 3. That's right, 3 times 3. So 9 is actually 3 squared. So it's going to be the difference of 2 squares. And what does the word difference mean? That means subtraction. Okay, so that's where we get difference of 2 squares. Now, let me tell you what this is. The quick version is these are the conjugates. You remember conjugates? The conjugates, or I like to call them math cousins. x plus 3, x minus 3. It's where the two factors look the same, but one has a plus, one has a minus. Remember, just like you conjugate verbs, right? I sit, I sat, very similar, but the middle's different. So that's it. Let's look real quick at the difference of two squares for some other numbers. Or some other binomials. So x squared minus 25. All right, that is going to be x plus 5, x minus 5. What about x squared minus 49? Do you know the square root of 49? Let's see. Hmm. Seven. That's exactly right. Thank you, buddy. X plus seven, X minus seven. And what about this one? X squared minus 100. What's the square root of 100? 10. That's exactly right. So X plus 10, X minus 10. Okay, and the order doesn't matter. You could put the minus part, the minus one in front of the other one. All right, let's do one more. I told you that New Orleanians have an upper hand on this number, right? This is called a gross 144, and let's see. Let's see if I can get help from somebody else here. Alexa, what's the square root of 144? The square root of 144 is 12. Thank you. Okay, so this is going to be x. We'll do a minus first. x minus 12, x plus 12. 